I hope you enjoyed what you watched and uh, let's see what we got going on in the market right now. Uh, you know, so really in reality, I think this market's gonna be kind of lazy. You do have movement, I guess, like an SMCI today on some deals that they're not gonna get delisted or, or at least they're gonna submit why they shouldn't be delisted and, and people like this up 25% right now. You know, let's just say in the event that they don't get delisted, you're still having issues with contraction of sales, at least what they you know reported uh, unofficially or at least an unaudited report. Uh, you know, that in and of itself, I think is, is tough, right? Uh, you have NVIDIA kind of moving orders away from SMCI, even though I would argue SMCI does have the most advanced cooling technology for these liquid, uh, or for, excuse me, for these server racks. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that as the show goes on. Uh, you can composite up about 0.63%, trading at 18,797. It's a little bit of bounce from uh, that attempt to close that gap there from November 6th. Uh, same with Dow Jones Industrial, off about 0.16%, trading at 43,373. And those futures are off about 0.11%. Uh, you have the E-mini up about 0.38% at 5,919 with that SPY trading up 0.41% at 588 dollars. Still somewhat strong, coming off a little bit from uh, wanting to get to that 107. Moving right back down to that 106 level, 106.25. Still going to be an environment where the dollar is uh, stronger for longer, no doubt. Crude oil kind of moving up a little bit, up 3.45% at 69.23. You know... You're gonna get a lot of oil production under Trump. You're gonna have OPEC probably start producing at higher levels as well. If you look at kind of the output and price data from Trump's last administration, you can see OPEC was really, namely Saudi Arabia, was really pumping out quite a bit of oil uh, in concert with US efforts. Uh, that was what was bringing our uh, you know, gas prices down. You have a gold contract, kind of like on a, I, really like a technical rally here at 2,614, so up 1.72%. Still had a fantastic year. Uh, some okay volume, I guess, right now. We're not at the end of the day, so we'll have to see what it shakes out to at the end, but <clears throat> still quite a bit of a fall. Uh, trading at 2,614 right now on the gold contract. Copper up 1.4% at $4.12, and then silver doing pretty well, uh, too, at up 2.54% uh, at thirty-one twenty. Let's see. Anything else happening? Lucid doing its thing. Up 5.47% at $2.12. Still dynamics kind of sideways. And then Tesla running up 4.11% uh, when some, you know, basically some uh, news coming out of the Trump administration that we'll, we'll talk about going forward. Uh, before I go any further, I want to say if you are an opening call subscriber, go ahead to your account page on tfnn.com. Uh, once you sign into your account page, you look on the right-hand side where you see all your active subscriptions. If you click Basil's archived webinars, uh, we're going to have, we already do have uh, his webinar up from November 14th. If you weren't able to make it or you weren't opening call subscriber, it is not too late. Uh, it was a great webinar, honestly. Some very good insight. Kind of changed the way that I was looking at some certain things, uh, which is always good. You should always be challenging uh, what your beliefs are in the moment. Uh, so that's the opening call subscriber uh, webinar. Again, this is subscribing you to the newsletter. He updates this every day as a long form video, Friday or Saturday, depending. And uh, if you're a first time subscriber, you have nothing to lose. Because there's a 30 day money back guarantee if for whatever reason it doesn't work for you, but we're betting that it will. Uh, big news for it, again, is this market is kind of sitting and, and waiting for NVIDIA, right? We're gonna get that earnings on Wednesday Kind of interesting news coming out with NVIDIA is it seems like they're, and I want to pull this up as well, but it seems that their Blackwell chips are overheating, which is not fantastic. And we'll see if that is kind of like a production issue that they had. If you remember maybe a few weeks ago or a month ago, they were talking about that they had some kind of design flaw uh, within Blackwell. It wasn't TSM's fault. It was uh, NVIDIA's. And so they, uh, they, they needed to fix that. So let's see here. Yes, yeah, so they're facing delays and counter problems with accompanying servers that overheat, causing some customers to worry that they'll not have enough time to get new data centers up and running. Uh, Blackwell graphics processing units overheat when connected together in server racks designed to hold up to 72 chips, which is a huge problem. Citing sources familiar with the issue. Chip maker is okay. Yeah. I think someone brought up in the den as well. <laughs> like, this also might be good news for SMCI since they have the most advanced cooling racks. 
yeah, probably in the big issue is that you are going to be running these Blackwell chips together, right? And I'll save everyone the lecture again of photon integrated chips, but it seems like that would solve the problem. And additionally, you know, Qubit's off today, I think, pretty immensely. Let's see, yeah, off 22%, trading at $2.41 after a meteoric rise on pretty good volume up to $4.69. They do the thin lithium, uh, thin film lithium neobate uh, that can be used in photonics. Uh, to me, it seems obviously we're going to continue to use this, but I was listening to Jensen Wong's kind of speech he gave uh, recently, and he was talking about how Moore's law, which is the idea that transistors, you know, double every so, like what, every year or something like that, if I remember correctly, uh, what it is. Yeah, double every every two years. That is no longer around, right? And you need to add these transistors, you want better compute and all that kind of stuff. And we're getting to a point where we just can't. And so NVIDIA is now trying to pivot to this thing where, where we're gonna make better software, right? Which is fine, but the hardware still needs to be there, especially if we're gonna scale this up, you know, beyond just this decade, uh, which we kind of have to. So I think something like what we're looking at on the screen here could be positive, but um, it's a bit more speculative. Folks, Sarah there, we're gonna be right back with Steve Rhodes of Mastering Probability right after this break.